Okay. Hey guys, welcome to PCF. Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss about the dynamic RLS. Okay, so what is dynamic RLS and uh, uh, why we will go with the dynamic RLS? Okay, so like uh, so, so RLS means to restrict the data to restrict the data uh, dynamically. Okay, based on the rules. Okay, so data dynamically based on the rules. Okay, so so this is for the dynamic role of checker case okay so generic definition is okay we can restrict the data based on the roles actually but here we are restrict the data dynamically okay to restrict the data dynamically okay at the runtime okay to we can restrict the data dynamically at the runtime okay that is called dynamic role of security actually we have two types of role level securities okay we have total types of role level securities okay static role level security and the dynamic role level security okay static role level security i have created a video so you can uh, watch that one also uh, but uh, this dynamic role level security so for uh, english version yes okay so but telugu i have already created but in english so I'm creating, okay, so in, uh, in Telugu, I've created the dynamic role of security, static role of security with user principal name and even organization hierarchy I've created. But here, um, my, my, my main goal is to restrict, okay, um, go with that data with the user principal name, okay. So dynamic RLS with the user principal name. And also I'm going to create two more videos uh, with ease manager, okay, ease manager and uh, organization hierarchy but two more videos also i'm going to create on the dynamic role of security but uh, for now i'm creating this user principal name okay this is dynamic role of security i'm not discussing about the static role of security static role of security means to create uh, static role of security will provide the values manually and dynamic role of security means okay to create dynamic role of security we will uh, go with the dax functions okay dax functions like a user principal name and then path function path contain functions okay so like that okay so next video we'll see with the path function and path content function in this video we'll see the user principal name guys okay so for that okay for that i have uh, taken uh, some sample data okay even you can okay i just entered the data guys okay i just entered the data even you can enter okay the vendor id a name and then email address this is the customer table okay this is the customer table or vendor table you can feel it's a vendor table okay and then uh, the second one is the sales table okay just uh, just id okay then may have more tape uh, more column but i'm just giving the sample one right so okay that's the reason okay vendor id and then uh, sales amount okay so again i created the relationship between them okay i created the relationship between them okay uh, so now uh, if you want to go with the user principal name guys okay so first uh, we have to create a role okay uh, so there we can go with the manager role Okay, I think uh, so. I have already uh, worked with the trial version, so that is the reason it's giving. Okay, let me delete this and then uh, save. Okay, if you want to create, you can go and then click on manage role, guys. Okay, click on manage role and then okay. So when there is no role, so something like that, okay, when you click on that, okay, so uh, whatever the tables you have, okay, the table you will get here. And then um, so here you can uh, write your role name, okay, that is. Uh, username okay so you can go with the user role something like that okay user role and then okay so how to add this user principal name is but user principal name always give the email address guys okay so user principal name always give the email address okay where email id who's logs into uh the power bi service okay so the, their email id it will take and then it will give their uh, related data actually so i can give okay e email id is equal to uh, user principal name and then click save case okay click save uh, so now i have created the role okay uh, we'll see okay we'll create some visual okay that is name and then uh, sales amount and then email address okay so this table we have created now okay this table we have created okay so uh, i have logged with the my account right okay this email address okay once i publish and then if i test the role okay i can able to see only my record that means the username principle is working fine okay let's save this case okay let's save this okay if you haven't okay so if you want to uh, save this file name okay so different okay you can go and say i have already given this file name as uh, rls with user principle name okay then uh, you can click on publish case okay go home tab and then uh, click on publish okay so uh, this time i'm going with the diff 
okay click select okay dev workspace i'm going to deploy it in um, dev workspace and then uh, click here to open your power bi service account please okay so power bi service account it's opened in a power bi service account see uh, if you want to test role okay so go to uh, this workspaces okay dev workspace i have deployed okay so if you want to the, see the latest one okay this is our uh, latest one you can go to the data set and then security in the security you can go and then test as a role okay now i can see only my uh my email only okay so whatever i have access okay uh, that record only i'm able to see okay so this is about the role level security course okay so, thank you so hope you are like my video uh, please uh, share and subscribe my um, my channel guys okay if you like the video please uh, share and subscribe uh, for more videos okay thank you thank you so much guys okay